Classic Sunday action, man, but we excited to have you on the show, man. For sure, man. Yes, it's sir. Honor, it's an honor, shit. We appreciate the respect. We appreciate you. For sure. <laughs> so, what's up, bro? Let's get straight into it, huh? Yeah. So, how long you been making music? Uh, I've been I've been making music since six years now. You've been six, six years in? Yeah, six years in. So, what, what yeah. inspired you to make start right, making How music? you just hop in? Nah, I just started. I just started playing with it at first, and then I was like. If all these other people could make it, I could make it too. Man, let's see, right now you can get about freeway vibes right now, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, you can go back free, man. I ain't gonna lie. Thought you was from Philly, man, you know what I'm saying? I know you're EC Rocky, man, but you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> might be EC, no, you know what I'm saying? Rocky from Philly for real. That's man, what I'm saying. <laughs> Philly, Philly Rock, is that yeah, what you're saying? Philly Rock, yeah. Philly Rock, yeah. man. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. So I'm saying, like, yeah, what is the beer game? You always had a beard or? Yeah, I had a beard. You used to be, used to, uh, he said, yeah, I had a beard. Yeah, I had a beard. What's up, you used to be on the court with it on your James Harden sauce, or? Yeah, I used to be on the court. I still am on the court with it. I still hoop. Mm. Okay. You be hooping around the city, or? Yeah, I be hooping around the city. Okay, okay, but no. So, but no, what, what, what inspires you to rap? Like, what inspires you to rap? What inspired me to rap? Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, but did you, like, you said you, you know, like you saw the niggas doing it, yeah. But you, you did you have it in you? Like, all right, boom, nigga, I got bars off of it, and I know I can tap in. Like at first, I ain't think I, I ain't think I had the bars, but I was just like, fuck it, like I got bars. Like if I, if I could do it, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm gonna make it if they can, if the rappers can make it, like six nine, all the money. Yeah, people. you ain't locked there. My nigga Pharrell said in the song, he said, I be, I be writing these lyrics, but I be writing to you, my nigga, you can do it too. Yeah, That's literally true. a song. And I don't, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, you know what I mean? You ain't locked. Yeah. Niggas definitely can uh, sit down and open that shit up and, you know, and come up with some heat. It's hard to translate, man. But I definitely uh, believe. So who's your motivation? Like, who's the biggest motivation in your corner? Like, you know what I mean? My big bro right here. Okay. K.O. the Great. K.O. the Great. One. <laughs> K.O. the Great one. Damn, we should have had you on the camera too, K.O. Oh, my God. Shit. We, we the angle shit. Yeah, he inspired me to rap though, for sure. He, he my number one supporter on the corner, you know. And like I said, I got a couple of rap influences like Gucci. Lil Wayne, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, Dolph. Feel like oh, I mean the Dolph. Right, Dolph. Uh, just to, just to name a few, I ain't gonna keep going on on the list, you know what I'm saying? There's plenty more. Uh, shit, so, uh, what's the power play you got coming up, bro? Uh, I'm dropping the album, uh, April 2nd. Okay. Uh, it's Sweet. called The Big Thumb Chronicles. It's called the what Chronicles? The Big Un Chronicles. Okay. Oh yeah, Big Ud. I did see that song, man. What inspired Big Ud? Yeah, I think of myself highly anyway. I think I'm the biggest. Uh, I think I'm the biggest. Whatever. Like, like, I think big I'm the big shit. Uh, the Big Oh. Uh, like, right. Uh, I'm the shit. Okay. Like, that's how I came up with the Big Un uh, shit. Like. Yeah. yeah. Well, shit. I'm saying like, who was who was a feature you uh. You want to work with, bro? Like, who's like somebody you want to get? Or, yeah, out the, period. Out the city, city. Out the city in the game, out the game. Right. Well, in the city, 
In the city, I want to do a feature probably with Doughboy. I do. Yeah, with Doughboy. Of course, y'all both from EC. Yeah, I'll do a feature with Doughboy. Uh, out the city, I'll probably do a. Um, I'll probably do a feature with either Gucci, uh, Lil Baby, Lil Dirk. Shit, Lil Baby will light some shit up, won't he? Yeah, yeah. definitely. So, uh, what's the what's the uh, biggest challenge you think coming out the city? Like, why you think it's so you know what I mean? So tough being a rapper or artist coming out of the city. Man, I mean, it's hard. It's a hard job. It's a hard job being a rapper, but like you gotta have the right. You gotta have the right mind. You gotta have the right too, marketing. Man. Um, you gotta have the right material. You gotta have the right everything. So you ain't lie. It's hard to be an artist to keep consistent I'm, and to drop uh, constant content. Yeah. How much uh, being from EC inspires you? You know, motivates you. You know what I'm saying? As far you know, as far as your music goes. Oh yeah, it inspires me a lot. I, I feel like it's a lot. It's a lot on the line. And I feel like it's a lot to show, like for the city, like who I am for real, and what what's my DNA being from EC for real, like showing them. Like who, who is the big un for real? Like you know what I'm saying? Just giving them me. Yes, sir. The un chronicles. I like that. So as you about to, how, how many chronicles you gonna try to have? Like seven of the motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> man. I just this is only the first one. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm saying. So, I mean, this is a random question. No. <laughs> Would you ever smash your fans, bro? <laughs> is you smashing your fans, yeah. bro? Man, I got the new movies in my mind. I ain't gonna speak on that. This bro always put somebody in the corner with you. So, you ain't gonna speak on that. So, what's it? I'm telling you, bro. One of these days, you're gonna have somebody caught up. I'm saying, man. So, what does it feel like to be JPD Digital um, top on the top 20 to make it? You know what I'm saying? List. I feel like they could have put me. They could have put me. Uh, <laughs> like top ten, top fifteen, but I, I appreciate the list though. Okay. Does it give you more motivation to tap in and yeah. to like uh That's giving me more motivation to lock in. Cause six years in the game, you know what I'm saying? That's a long time. That's oh no, I'm sorry. a short amount of time, but that's a long time. Yeah, for sure. It don't feel like it though. Yeah, because it's I mean it's time hey. ticking. Time is ticking, but it's six years, I mean look, you know, as long as you you can in the world we live in, you can get your real long. Mm -hmm. And then pop in twenty minutes. Yeah, for sure. So and that's the question. Oh, I'm, like, I'm, ready, I'm ready for Do you be doing that. the reels mm -hmm. and shit like that? Do are you into social media? Yeah, I uh, got a TikTok. You be getting TikTok on? Yeah. Okay. I don't know how the TikTok necessarily yeah. yet, but somebody just we told me I should take. We should take some of our clips and we TikTok just, the shit out of them. It's like uh, you do like memes or clips from like movies, like um, animes, whatever, like. Mm -hmm. Whatever, like, and then you just and then you post just, that like, recite them and post them as okay. reels, whatever. Okay, that's how TikTok works. Would you would you work off? Would you work with anybody off that list that you was on? Mm -hmm. Probably yeah. one or two, maybe. Would you rather be uh, independent artist like Nas? You know, for a long time, Nas didn't really want to work with anyone on the yeah, feature yeah. side. You I'd rather I'd rather be uh I'd rather be independent mm -hmm. for sure for sure. Because I want to be able to uh, drop how I want to drop, and I want to be able to put out certain material how I want to put out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? No offense to no label, but I just want to do me. All right. So, what's the project you're working on next? What's the next project that's coming out? Uh, after the Big Un Chronicles, I'm working on another album called Still Doubt Me. Still Doubt Me? Yeah. Okay. So I see the thing behind that. How you already got the name before you start right? Do you already got heavy music already lit up? I mean, six yeah. years in the game. You got. You, are you a you be, you be in the studio all the time? You a studio rat? Right? Or you just you know what I'm saying? You sleeping in there, bro? More be man. more be hey, on vibe. You gotta yeah, catch it. Call it what y'all want, man. Like it just like when I perfect writing and being in the studio at the same time. Mm -hmm. I'm. I feel like I'm a monster. So. So do you sip while you in the studio? Or yeah. You, you I be, sip. I smoke. What's your, what's your, what's your uh, poison? You, you a tequila drinker or? Tequila. You like tequila? <laughs> yeah, I'm a tequila drinker too, uh, man. man. I had some Casamigos last night, some Reposado. Yeah, that was crazy, crazy motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I fuck with uh, Termano. Who? She yeah. jumped me on that. I ain't gonna lie, man. I thought she would've said you drink the whiskey, bruh. Nah, hell no. Nah. You don't fuck with the whiskey, bruh? It's too what? strong? 
That's crazy. That's that's my thing right there. That whiskey ain't whiskey shit. Or some so yeah. how was the trap at uh, Drills uh, Music Festival? Damn, that's Man, it was cool. I mean, it was cool. I feel like some of these events they uh they play favoritism. Do they? Yeah. Oh, so weird shit. Like, why 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 do you say that? Because they want you to be what? You gotta know him, or you gotta you gotta, you gotta know certain people, and you gotta be on songs. You gotta be on songs with certain niggas, like you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's weird. Your features gotta be certain. A certain kind of way, it's like it's politics behind that shit. Is what you're saying? Yeah, basically, like you gotta be a yes man type nigga. Oh uh, man. Well, so that's why we just gonna let the music speak for itself, huh? Yeah, for sure. So, shit, who in your top five, man? Random question. Top five rappers out of the city. Shit, no, no in your top five. Top should, top we top say, five. Yeah, should we say? Should we say? That you listen to, like, all right, boom. All right. You seven yeah. hours, like, all right, boom. I'm playing only five artists. Who they gonna be? Oh, or yeah. off the rip? Yeah. I got I got Lil Wayne. I got Gucci. Mm-hmm. Dolph. Um, Drake. And I got uh, Jeezy. And Jeezy? Shit. Wow. My nigga had them okay. bitches off his head. Off the rip. Everybody. Yeah, and I got Jeezy. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. That's for real. What if I said Kodak deserved to be here? I fuck with Kodak, too. I ain't got no problem with Kodak. What about Tim Chinese? Hell no. He, he legend. He legend. He legend now? He been, he been come like, on, man. He been legend. He's crazy. Come on, man. Yeah, he he got this is his guy. This is his guy. He loves him. I fuck with Tim Chinese. Like, he legendary to me. For real, for real. I like Tim Chinese. I'm not going to lie, man. But my nigga definitely came from I'm different. Yes, I'm different. So don't forget that. He bad boy, too. But he got to go commercial on us, I guess. Yeah. So I'm saying like what you think comes first, man? You know what I'm saying? Like swag or talent, man? Talent. The talent come first? Yeah. Always. But what if you put swag in the They put swag over it. Is that what happens now? Yeah. It's it but yeah. They they feel ahead of themselves for real, for real. So would you like would you not type into some swaggy shit? Like what if you was just a swaggy ass nigga and then you just like, hold up, I'm about to start rapping. Would you? I'm, I'm would that go, carry on? I'm gonna go for it. Yeah, like, damn, I've been doing this. I've been a ladies' man this whole time. I've been fucking around. What's up? Now I'm about to start to talk about how I'm a ladies' man on trap on some LL Cool J shit. Nah, Did y'all see that LL Cool J shit? They start talking about him while he was pouring uh, chocolate on bitches and shit. They said this nigga was out of pocket. Man. Y'all see that shit on Instagram? Man. Nah, I ain't seen that. Nah, I ain't that. This nigga wild, bro. He, this nigga was in the strip club. Remember he was in the strip club eating the apple? You know what I'm saying? You all uh, remember that? I, Come on, man. You don't remember that when he was getting that lap dance and eating the apple, bro? This yeah. over this. And then, yeah, the what's the other one? He was, uh, that nigga was fully clothed yeah, watching that bitch. He might have been clowned and then he do that in one of his videos. Man, yeah, but that's, he was talking about it too, but he was talking about it on YouTube. He was like, yeah, I was in a different mode. Like, <laughs> oh, <God, man. laughs> He's crazy. Yeah, this nigga wild. So I'm saying, like. Uh, what's your favorite venue you, you performed at so far? Uh, I'll say, I'll say, um, this one I had at, uh, I'll say Capital 8 was one of them with uh, Andrew Lloyd. That I seen him at. Uh, okay. And and it's enough. It's one more. It's one that uh, the West Side I performed at a couple months ago. Okay. You at uh, Zada Cuisine. Zada Cuisine. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that sounds exotic. exotic. Like what's going yeah, up in there? Yeah, it be it be hella talent in there. Okay. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. If we talk about the talent or the talent talent. Mm-hmm. The Tyler Tyler. Hey, hey, y'all want to have to come up in that bitch. What is it called? A lot of Kazada. It's called Exotic Cuisine. Exotic, Exotic Cuisine. Cuisine. Where is that? Downtown? No, West. I think it's it's off like West. I forgot. There's so many it's, fucking it's restaurants in the fucking city. Uh, like it's West like West off of uh, Lorraine. Ah, uh, okay. There's so many spots in the city I might even hit to, bro. Man, there's a lot of them. I don't know what that is about. That's why I be doing a little food type because every now and then, you know, so we have different restaurants a lot of places you know, here. It's, it's specific. <laughs> so what sets you aside from Cleveland artists, man? What make you so unique, huh? I just feel like, I don't know. Y'all got to tap in with my music, man. And y'all got to let the music speak for yourself, man. But if y'all really want to know, I feel like I'm the best for real. That's okay. Those some brave words right there. So you gonna we gonna have to come hard again? What all twenty twenty two? Yeah. 
So that's summer, I mean, that means summer 2022, we got projects, we got performances. Yeah, we got performances, we got everything. Mm. Like that. I mean, yeah, all of that. I'm ready for all of it. Okay. Performances, more tracks, all that. I got the material. My niggas that I live in the studio. Yeah, I do. I live in the studio. <laughs> I live in the studio. <laughs> so what's your favorite studio in the city? I, I remember I shout out Connect Studio, man. I'm going to shout them out. That's who I used to you, uh, tap in with. Uh, my favorite studio is tapped in at uh, Shaker Square. Okay. Yeah. Damn, I even know he had a studio on the Shaker. square. Yeah, it's uh, his, it's a studio called Death Child Rec. Def, I think Death Child Recordings. Okay. okay. Is yeah. it next to Dave's? Like, where the hell is it? It's by um, you coming up um, Shaker Boulevard. Like, Good. it's the right side when you coming up going towards uh, Michael's Diner. Oh, okay, okay, okay. In them buildings. On Damn, the well, I was always wondering what the hell was over there. Yeah, hell yeah. So I saw you shouting out uh, Loyal Lifestyle Clothing. Yeah, hell yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so what's good? What's going on with that? Speak to the speak to the sauce. I mean, it's just a it's just a brand. You know what I'm saying? Like Logo, black owned. You know, black owned, all that. This is my nigga said, I'm a supporter, my nigga. I'm tapped in. Yeah, I'm gonna support the city, man. I for do sure, for sure. It's on the flow. So I'm saying, like, are you excited for what's coming next? Or yeah, I'm very excited. My nigga, my nigga, be real, just the uh, low key, like, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I ain't gonna say too much. I'm gonna my say nigga, just my enough. nigga, my nigga, to real ninja. Yeah. But I ain't gonna say too so, much. Else, you know what I'm saying? I mean, so it's not like you about to sit some thoughts this season, man. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous, man. You got me nervous. You know what I'm saying this over like everything I seen every time it came up, everything. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Nah, nah. This may be free right here right now, man. It ain't nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. So I'm saying, with the projects coming out next and everything that's coming forward, uh, you know, you got to let the people know where they can follow you at. What's next? Follow me at EC underscore Rowski 92 on IG. And EC Ralph on YouTube, all that. All and, platforms. And your album coming out, right? Yeah. April 2nd, The Big Unchronicles. So on the second of April, shit, we got a couple days. Shit, y'all better tap in. It's on its way. You know what I'm saying? But all right, well, shit. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Cloudy. Kick back, and we'll see you next time, huh? Hey, <laughs> let's get busy. <laughs>